What's up, everybody? Welcome to Easy Peasy Podcast, the first of maybe more segments. Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Hotel Downtown. We are getting ready. We're pre-gaming. We're having fun. Go, about to go to Jawbreaker. Hotel Poppin'. Hotel Poppin'. Mm, mm. Joining me this week, Brandon. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, what up, Brandon? Yo, what and up? And Mitch. Hello. What up, Mitch? Not Holy shit. Having you here is a treat, my friend. Thanks. Big treat. Hell yeah. Brandon being a treat as well. A juicy, juicy treat. So let's dive right in. I, uh, Lydia is doing her makeup, getting ready, going as Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice for the first night of Jawbreaker. <laughs> we got a sick as hell lineup. We're going to talk about the lineup here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the Wisconsin Center downtown. We are walking distance, probably walking at least down from there back home. Oh, for sure. Maybe because the Uber is going to be horrible. But we also want to talk about a couple other small things. Red Dead Redemption came out. We got a new podcast starting next week with Trey, the gaming podcast. And I just broke my sobriety for Sober October, so wow. let's kick it off with that. Wow. I'm going to grab my alcoholic beverage. Wow. Woo! Make sure I can uh, drink an alcoholic beverage. Or maybe, is this my, not mine? I think it's empty. I think I have one oh, behind it's me. behind you. Yeah, that's mine. Hell yeah. Drinking a beer oh. on special episode. Wait cheers. to drink. We got to cheers this. Oh, yeah. Let's cheers. Cheers to breaking Sober October. Whoop, whoop. You did it. You completed your goal. Hashtag, we did it, we did it. Congratulations, and Sean and Lydia. And Lyd, yeah, yep. she's, like I said, guys, she's doing her makeup, getting ready. But big we deal. still. Both of you. So, how long did you go, Sean? So, we went, we camped at the end of September, like the last weekend of September, and I only drank that Friday. So, it was about 27 days or so. 27 days. Not the full months, not the full, we don't care about any like actual Silver October. We were just had a goal in mind, and then we would break it at Jawbreaker and. Or like a day or two before with uh, a couple events. But yeah. Congratulations. I was telling Mitch something I do want to talk about is that I've been having these weird like thoughts where like I'm just at work. I'll have like sudden strikes of trauma, like past trauma uh, I've uh, had to go through through my life. Horrible things I've seen. I've had those like flashback and like I'm just thinking about them and I don't want to be thinking about them at work or at any occasion on the treadmill even where it's like my safest place in the world. And I'll just be thinking about these past traumas. I just thought that was like very interesting. That's never exactly happened to me. What do you think has triggered that? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I have like three or four different like instances in my life that like kind of like I think no, about no, every but once like, in a while, Yeah, but, but like while you're at work or on the treadmill, I don't what, what it, do you think triggers that? I don't think it's a particular thing. I think my mind is too not clouded up with yeah. having to recover for two or three days after mm-hmm. we drink. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm, we're old. Yeah. I mean, I was telling Lydia on Thursday we had four beers and we went and saw Shane Moss did the beer stand up science thing I at, saw that. at the social club. I saw that snap. Yeah, it was amazing. And um, I had four beers total that night, and I woke up Friday with a, a headache, mm-hmm. a hangover. Yeah. Uh, uh, I went 46 days uh, for sober because uh, I wanted to get fit and live a little better lifestyle, and uh, I felt the same way Yeah. Uh, once I drank again. Yeah. It was weird. It's like you actually realize and recognize that you are Bad having a hangover. Yeah. yeah. And like the hangovers that you do feel are minimal, sure, but they are hangovers. Like you yeah. can feel those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was interesting. And that small like thing where I'm, I'm thinking about things I try to like hide away more in my mind. And I, I don't know. I have no reasoning. I've, I'm not a psychologist or anything. But Well, the, before moving on, do you, do you think you accomplish your goal? Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a big deal. About four weeks, Mitch, uh, you were talking to, Brandon, you've shared with us on the podcast here already that you've done uh, sober. 46 days. 46 days. Jesus. I did six weeks a couple years ago. Nice. And and just recently, like I did a two month thing where I was only drinking two days a week max. And I would say that I had a similar experience with both, frankly, um, going completely sober and versus just allow myself two days a week of drinking. And the things I picked up were that you, 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 it, it opens you up to some introspection. And then you become much more cognizant of when you're drinking in an unhealthy fashion, when you're getting home from work and just being like, well, I'm going to drink until I go to sleep. Because I don't no have anything to do no tonight. Reason. Yeah. yeah. Let's so play some like, games. Watch after, a movie. After any of these stints, you, when I have that urge for a moment, I recognize it. And I'm just like, I don't need to do that. That's a, you know, an unhealthy reaction. And, uh, yeah, so I, we I just, just had guests show up. That was a lot. But anyway, sorry, Mitch. That's all right. 
Um, Mitch, something else I think is kind of interesting is the last time I did sober, sober time, like sober time off, was right before, right after the crazy, no good, bad, never want to happen again night with me, Sean and Lydia after we went and saw Brand New. And I'm not going to go into any more details, but there was a thing that happened. It was really crazy. It was a nuts night. We, Lydia and I took six weeks off, and then I broke my sobriety, like, to celebrate her birthday. We were camping. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah. I remember, like, taking you aside, put my arm around you, and be like, dude, what do you think about this? I'm thinking about, I was going to go, like, for the foreseeable future, but I'm thinking, you know, it's my girlfriend. Yeah. At the time, my girlfriend's birthday, I'm going to break the sobriety. I'm going to drink and camp and have fart and eaten and all that with all my friends and then yeah so you've done a stints of sobriety uh before so, oh yeah i mean this this one was kind of up your alley but it's still an accomplishment if yeah I oh yeah so. i appreciate you saying that definitely so guys we only ha- want to i only want to bug you two to be on the podcast for just a moment we got some friends that just show up cassie and alex are here i know i'm going to be getting a call here shortly to have my homie josh mcclain show up so let's talk about that lineup let's see let's get Hype, let's turn on that turbo hype, as Mitch would say. Mm. Let's talk about the lineup here, and let's start with tonight, of course. And we're going to do Crystal Knives from 7 to 7.30. We're actually, even though Lydia's super big on them, they're like a baby Odessa as far as, so they aren't like trapped, they aren't like throwing down the, the gauntlet, but they are very, very fun to li- listen to and whatnot. We're going to skip out on them. We're actually going to skip out on Rocket Power and Parker as well, probably, and show up right before Zed. So I want to hear what you guys think about Zed. Do you do you have any like ties? Any any? Are you excited to see Zed? Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for Zed personally. Uh, I'm definitely a fan. Um, that funny. song back in 2013, Lydia yeah. and I's song "Clarity." It's it's funny because when they first announced the lineup, and like I saw, I remember seeing just roughly the lineup for tonight, and then I like when I was thinking back on, it, I thought that Zed was closing, and it made sense to me. I was like. It's gonna Lewis the Child Grizz into Zed. Yeah. And I was like fine with that. And then when I saw Zed was actually the first of the three, I was like, oh, oh, huh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess maybe Grizz is way bigger, but I'm a big Zed fan. So Zed's definitely the biggest artist. His, his songs are on the, the radio, even. He's collaborating with Haley Williams. Yeah. Like, that's his biggest song. He's got, he's I mean, co- he's out there. Yeah. But he is opening for the night, guys. Which is fine. It's, it's gonna be a great show, but it's weird. A weird order, I thought. It is. Totally. What do you think about that, Brandon? I love it. I've seen Zed probably five or six times. Whoa! And, uh, you saw him at Forest 2014. That, it Our was first amazing. It was amazing. I'm getting goosebumps right now. <laughs> and, uh, that's, a good, that's how you know, Brandon. That was a real. good concert. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> and actually, uh, I saw De- Z- uh, Zed even before that here in Milwaukee. What? At Summerfest. And he was the very first opener, it went him and then rehab into Steve Aoki into Tiesto. And that was maybe 10 years ago, seven years ago. Wow. And then I saw him again in 2014 uh, in Chicago with uh, Bass Nectar. He opened for Bass Nectar. Uh, he opened for Bass Nectar in yep, 2014. Yep. That was right when Clarity came out and he was just blowing up. He was on a side stage, and it was a it was Bass Nectar, main, uh, the main act, and it was amazing, dude. It was wow. so much fun. I met so many cool people there, and then I saw him again at Forest in 2014, and uh, that show changed my so life. So you saw him a bunch before he blew up. And I've up. seen him at EDC a few oh, times. Jesus. Wow. That's crazy. Well, Brandon, if... if it's somebody you want to see in your life. Brandon has seen them. Like, yeah. Brandon is, okay. that's his main. Have you comment. seen Weird Al though? Oh man, no, I didn't. Boom. We missed the first him try. Hoyt. Yeah. I've seen him like he, he five times. Sherman. Probably. I've yeah. seen him so many times. It's Did you insane. go see him at Hoyt Sherman? When no, I missed him when he came through Des Moines. Oh. Uh, which was kind of, I was like, I was like, oh, should I go see him another time? I've seen him uh, five, five, at least five times. That'd Funny story sweet. about that, Mr. Man. Uh, <laughs> me and Brandon were going, Brandon and I were going to see Hanson, and I went over to Brandon's house beforehand to like meet up, pick him up. We were going to go to the Adventureland where we were seeing Hanson just at the beginning of, of October, the beginning of Sober October. This month. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah it okay. was Oktoberfest at, at Adventureland, and I stayed sober for Oktoberfest. Oh, Your self control is powerful. Thank you. That is powerful self control. It was kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, You've been working that out. Sober, so that's wow. tough. Wow. Yeah, music festival. Wow. So, though, at, right before when I was going to pick up Brandon, 
he's watching music videos for Hanson and stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. I, he gives me the controller or the, the remote, and I put on some other music videos. I'm like, hey, you know that guy right there? That's, that's Weird Al Yankovic in their music video. They yeah. have a great relationship with him. He's in two of their music it's videos. It's dope, yeah. It's hilarious. Uh, I love Weird Al. I've I, always yeah. loved him. I love knowing that he's in the music industry and that, like... Uh, Almost entirely across the music industry, people just fucking love him. He Everybody's has a lot like, of, of respect, course, yeah. And he has a huge following. Which he's an amazing musician. He's incredibly talented. He can play like fourteen inches. Yeah. He shows up on the uh, what a late, lyricist uh, last week with John Oliver. Oliver yeah. frequently, yep. and I love. Uh-huh. He's I love hilarious. He he's yeah. like seems down to earth and friendly as fuck. Yeah, hard not to be a fan. Right, for sure. So let's kick off this segment though or I going guess, back to the lineup yeah going Zed, back. we're mm. going to see zed is going to be our opening act wow after zed is going to be lewis the child yeah any experience seeing lewis the child mitch no nope. and, and honestly this is uh my first time seeing lewis the child wow i wanted to see them when they came to woolies i think i had a ticket and i couldn't couldn't go for I some I don't reason. remember when they were playing. Oh, Wolves. I do. I have the poster and everything. I was looking forward to it. I know I bought a ticket. Damn. But I... I Something was, happened. So, I don't know what happened, and, I, and there was a conflict and couldn't go. So, Lewis the Child was one of the selling points for me, Jawbreaker for me, to be yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so, and, they're from Chicago, and uh, Madison, friend of the podcast, Madison, she loves Lewis the Child. Well, and then I, I started listening to Playground Radio, uh, their podcast that they put out, uh, riding my bicycle and running and stuff. Mm. And th- it's such happy music. It really is. It's super fun, super lighthearted, a really good time. So it's like Zed, a really happy, good time, poignant into Lewis the Child, another happy, good time. Let I mean, the good times roll with Grizz. Oh, boo. You're right, man. It's all about good vibes. Good, good vibes. Yeah. Tomorrow we throw down the gauntlet. <laughs> Tomorrow, with Odessa yeah. and, and they're Mara. like warming us up with some like some good vibes, like six hours of of chill trap music. Yeah. Uh, so the party goes until one thirty tonight. So just like you were saying, Brain, it goes said nine to ten fifteen. Then Lewis the Child from ten thirty to eleven forty five, and mm-hmm. then Grizz from twelve fifteen. So it gives us that thirty minutes to get a beer, go yeah. pee, and then see Grizz till one thirty. So Grizz closing out. Five one five alive. Two thousand and seventeen was so dope. It was. He and had his full live band. I know that's not the case tonight, but it's still pretty exciting. Mm. I've seen Grizz probably about five or six times as well. And Damn. Uh, Grizz, uh, before he did the live band thing at uh, summer camp, I was on the rail, life changing goosebumps right now. And he just made this mo- this fucking moment because that's when he came out and stuff. Exactly. I was just gonna say that's that. when he came out, and I'm like, oh my god, this is. This is, these are my people. Mm. So I need to be on the rail for this. So I made, <laughs> I made a commitment. And then I saw him also when he did his live band win in 2015, I want to say. Yeah. When they put out the his record. What? Uh, I think it's Let the Good Times Roll. Let the Good Times Roll. Yeah. And that album is fucking amazing. And he played that album full for a two-day event at Red Rocks. And I saw that. So Grizz has also changed my life. Dude, hell Go yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited Woo. for you to see. What a reunion weekend for you. God <laughs> yeah. damn. Like Missing Lewis the Child, seeing Zed, seeing Grizz, seeing Odessa for the first time. Let me throw that at you guys. I don't know if we're going to record another segment tomorrow, so I want to kick it to you right now. What do you think about seeing Odessa for the first time? I'll throw it to you, Mitch. Have I'm you seen s- Odessa before? Nope. Oh, nope. shit. Fuck I'm yes. super hype about it. I'm super hyped that like Arl Grime is opening for... It's just like... Arl Grime into most, Odessa. Yeah. I mean, Arl Grime is like my favorite trap musician, sure. probably. I would uh, agree. Uh, I period. Agree. And then just like leading into Odessa, what I haven't seen before, is going to be like an epic. How can I go to work to on back. Tuesday? <laughs> I wow. Like, look, we're going to take that as it comes. All right. <laughs> Tuesday's going to show up and it's like, well, I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to do our best. Yeah. We're going to yeah. do our best. We're in it to win it. We Oof. are in it to win it. So let's talk about tomorrow real quick, just because I know I, I'm not positive. Not well, really comp- quick. Sure. What do you think about Grizz, Sean? So here's the thing with Grizz. I love seeing him live. I like his music fine. I do like that one album, Let the Good Times Roll. When was I- the last time you saw Grizz? 515 Alive. Got it. Pretty sure, yeah. That 2017. During his, uh, 2017. His fuck Donald Trump days. Forrest, this last year? I don't think I was there. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Why? Anyway. Oh, continue. is that the song playing in the background? No, that's what he did. He did his fuck Donald Trump days. He was putting it on the screen. Oh, wow. Him like uh, 515 Alive. Yeah, yeah, anime kicking him. Loved it. We got Cassie and Alex Beward that just showed up. I don't know what they're doing over here. Oh, Alex is watching Cassie do her makeup. That's a pretty normal thing to, to happen. 
We did, we did sort of close the doors on. Well, them. I mean, if Alex wants to come in here and hang out with the the crew over here, he can. What I, did, I didn't shut the door on you guys. I just didn't want you guys to be annoyed by us. What uh? We got Alex Bush up in this. What's up, Alex? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm too nervous. <laughs> Alex just went and saw Odessa this year at Red Raw at uh, Tennessee, at uh, Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah, what yep. do you think about it? It was good. Who would you go with? What, what day was it? B-Word, what, who are you most looking forward to tonight? Hold this. Tonight? Yeah, tonight we're going to go there, starting with Zed, into Lewis the Child, into Grizz. Who are you most looking forward to tonight and why? Probably Lewis the Child. Why? They just put out a new album, it I It was believe. not good. I don't like it either. I uh, haven't heard it. But every time I've seen Lewis the Child, they're really fun to watch. Yeah. So. Do you uh, listen to their podcast, Playground Radio? Yeah. Do you enjoy that as well? Most of them. Cool. Sweet. I'm glad. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow, that's hard. RL and Odessa. Slumberjack will be cool, too. I've never seen Slumberjack. Also haven't seen Slumberjack. No, we haven't either. We just got into it. So that will be cool as well. Sweet. Sweet. I'm looking forward to it as well. Sean, how do you feel about tomorrow? I'm all about that o R.L. Grimendo does. I know no, Lydia sure. likes Slumberjack. Lydia's all about the Slumberjacks. R. It's, just, Grime, it's just stacked. It's just stacked. R.L. Grime dropped his uh, Halloween yes, mix. Yes, let's Volume talk about that. Yes. So what do you think On about Halloween it? weekend? I mean, what more is to ask for? Yeah, so it's one year move. last year, one year ago last year, Lydia and I were seeing, and Bush, Alex Bush were seeing him in New Orleans after he just <laughs> dropped Halloween 6. It was fucking insane. So this is a reunion the for you guys. you need. This is a reunion. What do you have have right here? This is a reunion for you guys. Yeah. We have a hilarious photo where we're drunk as shit at the after party where we saw Lenium for the second time that night. Is this the one that I think it is? Yeah. Joker makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Half half of Alex's face is covered in Joker makeup. And I try to send Nick and Shayna a snap that says, Love you guys, and it just says, Love you have. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, We've heard this story on the uh, podcast a couple that, times. That, it's like an instant. That's like a classic photo in my life. What do you guys expect with the this being at the Wisconsin Center? I know you're pretty I happy. Blew, you know what I think it's going to be like? Decadence. It's on yep. the third floor. Oh. Weird. So we're going to go up escalators. <laughs> What's up? We're going to go up some escalators, probably. You guys ready to go up escalators? I can drunk? ride escalators. I can also take the stairs. You know, I'm ready for stairs if they oh, let us. Stairs are tough when you're drunk, I'm too. I'm ready for life. Especially if you're you got to be careful <laughs> on the stairs <laughs> yeah. if you're drunk. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't talk and not talk into a was mic. That, was that San Fran? Was that San? No. Yeah, it was San Fran. Was that San Fran? No. <laughs> oh, Chiaga. It was Montreal. Montreal. Lydia ran upstairs and fell, and the viewer won't li- live it give, down. I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt, and was like, you were, it was just really slippery, right? And she goes, I was like, you were just, I was like, you, it was just slippery, right? She goes, no, I was just really drunk. I feel terrible now, because there was a girl in my dorm freshman year who me and my friends were going out on like a Friday night, and we were walking down the stairs, and this girl was being carried up the stairs by her friends, and it was like, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. So I like I was just like trying not to laugh as she walked by, and she saw me and was like, "They're laughing at me." Her friends were like, "No, yeah. they're not." And I was just like, "Oh no, <laughs> I was. I'm a piece of shit." We have so much to look forward to, guys. This is. I want to ask Mitch a question. Sure. Though. Who are you most looking forward to tonight? Ah, tonight? We have three artists that we're really going to catch. So I want to say my number one real quick, and that is Lewis right. the Child. Even yeah. though I'm not a huge fan of their new EP, Kids at Play, I believe, it's not great. I mean, there's no, there's a song in there that, it, that was their single for the summer, and that was like their number one song. We heard it all, yeah. all summer. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but. And you, then the rest of the album was just filler. It was just. It's that just, is definitely the only song I heard on the album. So there's nothing like that gets me going. There's just. It's just yeah. like okay, this is. It's. In, it's nice to hear this. Maybe I don't know. I wasn't huge on that. Grizz. I love Grizz, but like I said, I've never been just gotten into Grizz. Yeah. When it comes to brass, I go, turn to Big Gigantic. I don't really listen to Grizz. I'm kind of well. excited for Grizz because I don't know exactly what to expect. I've listened to Zed longer. I think definitely and yeah. I don't yeah. know. I'm excited Grizz, for Grizz, Grizz but I'm also excited fine. for Zed. I suppose I'm probably more excited for okay. Zed. Okay. Yeah, Clarity is one awesome banger show, of a man. track. You saw that on two years ago at SummerSlam. Zed? Yeah. He probably. puts on a hell of a show. Yeah. Probably. Probably, I don't know. We were on the Ferris wheel. 
Oh. Where were we? On the Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, this has been episode Jawbreaker, special episode Jawbreaker. We probably may or may not come back with another segment, and if we do, it will be tonight at 3 a.m. Oh, my God. So who knows how that's going to roll out, but it will be fun regardless. We have homies coming back in here. Uh, Josh McClayton is going to be here eventually. That would be cool to get him on the podcast, but... Thank you for listening to special episode Jawbreaker, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Brandon. Where can they find you if they want to look for, look you up on the socials? They can find me at Gold Bizzle G Zero L D Bizzle. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Uh, M N R Sullivan on Instagram and at the underscore Mitch underscore Man on Twitter. Yeah, there you go. What about you, Alex Bush? Alex B Word. Thank you for joining me on this special episode. This has been Easy Peasy Podcast. Whoa. Where, they, where can they find you, Sean S. Oh, Johnson? Oh, thank you. That's nice of you to say. <laughs> Sean S. Johnson everywhere. The Easy Peasy at the Easy Peasy everywhere. We got some Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay going up. There's already one out right now. Check it out on YouTube. First two hours of Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox One. The hype is real. Full HD. The hype is turbo hyped, as Mitch would say. <laughs> thank you for joining us on Easy Peasy Podcast. Special episode, Jawbreaker. And we out. Peace.